What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Scorpio on the 8th house, Aries rising. So this is for people that have um, Aries rising or people that know somebody that has Aries ascendant because it is the same. So we're going to dive deep into this to see exactly what this means. I do have quite a bit of information on the topic. Okay, so this placement will impact a person's approach to transformation. It will also access, make them have access to resources and close relationships. So these people will strongly yearn for depth of emotions and connection in their relationships because of Scorpio's deep penetrating energy. So these women and men must dive into life's deeper levels and look for relationships that can change them. So what these people are doing in this lifetime, Aries rising individuals, Scorpio on the eighth house, they are looking for meaningful relationships, very deep soul level relationships so they could connect with somebody. So this is going to be an intimate relationships, but this is also going to be friendships, also family. Okay, um, it could push over definitely into business, okay, because it does speak about um, finances, joint finances, and things like that. That's something that they definitely would want to do with their partner for sure. So increased enthusiasm for collaborative assets such as joint finances, heirlooms, and close relationships can also signify that Scorpio on the eighth house. So these people may clearly understand the potential for significant growth through these shared resources and have value and power. Okay, so these men and women have a solid capacity to experience significant changes and accept growth in their selves due to Scorpio's fierce and piercing energy. So these people possess the bravery to face their anxieties and get change and a deep insight into unspoken truths. Okay, so these are definitely going to be um, the type of people that are truth seekers. They are brave. They are powerful individuals. Like we were saying before, um, these people are seeking out meaningful relationships okay um it's going to be a lot when it comes to displacement it this is this is a little challenging for these people because of the things that they're going to have to go through experience and also endure so these people have a highly intelligent attitude to handling common assets and legacies okay um they also appreciate shared resources Okay, they value those kind of things. These people can form solid emotional connections with their partners and enjoy closeness and fellowship. So being fully equipped to tackle on life's mysteries because of Scorpio's transforming energy in the 8th house will promote individuals' autonomy and a stronger sense of purpose. So these people are usually obsessed or obsessive about being in control, um, being dominant, and also possessive when it comes to relationships. So let's just stop right here. So in relationships, okay, let's say that this is a woman that has Aries rising. She is going to be an obsessive woman. She is going to be a controlling woman. She's going to want things to go her way. She can be a jealous woman when it comes to um, her relationships, okay? Now, if we're talking about um, a regular friendship, this can also pop up, okay, where she um, may not like some of the friends that you have, okay, may even get jealous of the friendships that you do have with certain people. Is this going to be all the time? No, but this can definitely go on and take place. Um, same thing with the um, Aries rising man, okay? Um, he can be very... Um, domineering okay but you know when you're looking at it and it's a man and a woman okay this would be the woman that is um very like kind of masculine okay 
and her approach when it comes to relationships and things like that. So this may lead to problems with this may lead to problems with manipulation or a fixation and can make it extremely difficult to establish healthy limits. Okay, so these people might not have any bounds. Why? Because they may also struggle to let go of hurt, pain, traumas, and also attachments, making it challenging to embrace personal development and progress completely. Okay, so because of things that they have experienced in their lifetime, okay, hurt, pain, traumas, um, attachments that they have built with people, this can um, also be when they enter into friendships or relationships, they can really have a hard time getting over what has went on and took place, okay? Let's just say, for example, when they was a child, maybe they got abused, maybe they got molested, okay? Then let's say maybe they got into a relationship, right? Um, and they're in a relationship, and they're trying to um, seek out that togetherness, but things jump off and take place in the relationship, okay? Moving on to a new friendship, a new relationship, these things fuck things up sometimes, okay? For them to completely embrace um, the growth that needs to take place, the transformation that needs to take place. So the intensity that this placement brings may also increase distrust or secrecy, making it more difficult to build relationships with other people. So yes, they can be um, not trusting of other people. They can be very private, secretive, um, selective about who they reveal things to. Okay, so it is going to be crucial for you to actively focus on controlling your intensity and developing healthy strategies for dealing with power struggles and emotional, um, frag, fra, frag, I can't even say the fucking word, um, struggles and emotional baggage let's say baggage because this is what this word is going to um definitely mean okay so going back and you know i'll be messing shit up sometimes y'all um going back okay like i said these people are going to be very intense um and they're not trusting like that um they are the type of people that are drawn to the dark side of life okay and they are fearless when it comes to um, danger. Okay. So when they're placed in dangerous situations, these people are not afraid. They are not scared. Um, they're damn near just ready and they don't even have to get ready because they are already ready. Okay. Um, but yes, they're drawn to the dark side of life. So this means that they could have encountered a lot of things that maybe they should not have seen when they were children being exposed exposed to certain things and activities that maybe they should not have been exposed to okay um for one definitely when you're thinking about being exposed to things that maybe you shouldn't have been as a child okay this can be um watching you know your mother get her ass whooped okay watching people um doing drugs knowing people that do drugs okay um, sell drugs, been to jail, fight a lot, you know, um, gangsters or whatever the case may be. This is what could go on and take place that they have seen in their life. So now, having a deep desire to make and control your partner. Okay. Um, and this goes back to what we were speaking about before. They want to be the alpha female or the alpha male in the relationship okay these women and men are combined with understanding their selves deeply okay so they want to know who they are but they want to know who you are as well understanding their relationships deeply understanding the aspects of life deeply they are the deep souls this placement offers immense potential for personal growth and transformation. Through it, they can also bring emotional turmoil. So regardless, it ultimately guides them towards acceptance, emotional liberation, and spiritual freedom. So some more traits to, to go along with this is going to be um, that they are open-minded and energetic 
they're inflexible, also indecisive. They need to be more responsible when it comes to domestic activities. So these individuals are extremely secretive and argumentative when it comes to their partners, money, and money in general. So these are the kind of people that um, if they loan you some money and you have not paid them back, they um, are going to probably chase you down. If you live in a neighborhood and things like that, they might want to pull up on you, um, question you about their money, their bread. Okay, now let's say if they purchase something from you, okay, let's say you have a business, they purchase something from you, and let's say maybe you did not have um, it in stock or whatever the case may be, these will be the people that want their refunds back, okay, they want it back, they want it back now, why didn't you give it to them and things like, okay, so these are these people. Now, when we talk about their partners, this means that they can have um, some type of control over their assets. Okay, um, maybe they're the ones that's handling the money. This is, could be the reason why they want to do the joint finances. Why? Because two is better than one. We already know that. So they may encounter problems with inheritance and wills. Okay, so this is something to pay attention about. Why? Because um, if something is left over to them, they should, you know, be able to receive it. But they may come across a lot of issues when it comes to in inheritance and wills and this can be from the mother the father from the grandmother okay um this can also even be their partners okay maybe their partners have a large family and things like that and they're looking forward to something and their partner passes away and things like that and they're left with damn near really nothing and everybody else got something so this is something to pay attention to so their life may be chaotic and filled with conflicts they are mysterious. They could have experienced a lot of trauma at an early age that is hard to deal with, hard to process. So their dark side can be scary to many because they can bring others into the abyss of their soul within. Okay, so these are some deep ass people. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Um, this destructive behavior they can have is usually a result of their need for power, their need for control, and many of them have seen power being used in a wrong way. Okay, so you know a lot of times the things that you see, um, sometimes that could turn out to be something that you mimic, okay? Other times, people might see things and they might deviate from that. But these people seeing it in a wrong kind of way, um, seeing somebody or people misusing, abusing their powers, okay, and they took on this damn trait. So they are going to be very passionate lovers, okay? Um, the opposite sex may become obsessed with them, okay? Why? Because these people do exhibit strong sex appeal, okay? So they do look attractive, they do look sexy, okay? And people do find them um, intriguing, mysterious, um maybe even mystical, okay? So they are going to be sensitive and also psychic in nature, and they can keep secrets on where they get their money from, okay? So a lot of times, they can, if they're keeping secrets and things like that about where they get their money from, goes back to them just being private and just being secretive in general. Why? Um, they don't feel like everybody needs to know their business, and if they want you to know it, they'll just tell you. So I'm going to leave this on this note for now and in future videos to come. I will go more into depth into Scorpio on the 8th house, Aries, rising men and women. Okay, so if anybody wants to get a chart analyzed, please hit me up. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, please feel free. My phone number is 516-738-6042. So this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.